Preptober is here again. NaNoWriMo is coming around the corner again. We're all gonna go insane again. Anyway, I have decided on a project and it is a project I would not recommend to anyone. However, I think it'll work in my case and if not, I'll just have a lot of work to do. So my nano project this year is going to be book two on my second work in progress with the necromancers and the undead and stuff. So you may be wondering, why am I plotting book two when I haven't even edited book one? That is because this story doesn't have really any big plot holes or anything. Not like my first one. Ugh. This one is actually just a coherent story as it is right now. And um, basically what I want to do moving forward with the, the first book is add in world building about the city and stuff. And the second book is going to be in the city. We're getting a link here. So the first book, they're in the city in the beginning where I wanted to put world building in. And then they leave the city and they're stuck. They're stranded out in the middle of nowhere. So they don't really get much city info because they're not in the city. However, book two is going to be like almost completely in the city. So I was thinking, do book two and have my world building in book two and then retroactively put that world info into book one. Could be a really bad idea. It could be a really, really bad idea. <laughs> I don't think there's anything I could do to the first book that would mess up the second book because it doesn't need that much work. Like, amazingly. I do not recommend this course of action to most people, like 99.9999% of people. This is a terrible idea. However, I'm gonna do it. Here's the deal. It's kind of a pet project of mine. It was like a, a brain cleanser for my first story. So I'm gonna take a risk with it. Now you might be thinking, isn't this a major spoiler? I mean, the first book, you're wondering if they're gonna get back to the city or not. First of all, I don't think I've told you enough information about this second story, this story at all, for anyone to be spoiled by anything. But second of all, if there's a second book, of course they get back to the city. At least one of them does. How many? We don't know. Hmm. Now, schedule. I might actually try and do a schedule. Um, Holly Davis put up a calendar, a Preptober calendar. I think she does one like every year. Um, hers kind of skews toward like uh, save the cat and actually making like proper scene cards and stuff, which I'm not really that organized. I start out using like a beat sheet and then like about a third of the way in, I just go on my own thing, you know? So... Who knows? Maybe, maybe I'll try and do that. You know what? Here we go. Okay. The first book in this series, it was the one I really tried to buckle down and adhere as closely to a beat sheet as I could. And of all the other stories I've done, this one, I tried to like get into a beat sheet really well. And I feel like this is the most coherent story I've written ever. So maybe we take it a step further you know, this year, you know, a little personal growth. Although to be, to be fair, like you could even go back last year. I said, was it last year? Oh my God. Was it last year? Anyway, you can go back to those videos and you can see that like I totally deviated completely off of the beat sheet crap anyway, but I tried to stay close. So maybe if I get a little closer, you know, just a little, we'll see. I was never good with scene cards, even in school. Oh my God. Let's go down memory lane for a minute. Uh, freshman year, it was like, I got into like a good English class, all right? And I flunked out of that crap because there was um, a research project. You had to write a research paper, okay? And that was like a huge chunk of your grade. And a huge chunk of the research paper grade was making 100 note cards. Okay, first of all, we couldn't afford note cards. <laughs> Second of all, even if we could, I would not have been able to do a hundred note cards. They were like individual sources too. You had to go out. This is like pre-internet. I am an old person, all right? I had to actually go to a library and get actual books and make 100 individual sources. I was not doing that. <laughs> So yeah, I didn't, I didn't do good in this class. I went back down to regular English after that year. Absolute ridiculousness. So not doing too many scene cards. I'll do, I'll fill out my timeline in plotter like normal, but even then like it's not really cards. It's just like I have a thing 
in like a couple sentences. I guess that counts as a scene card. What am I talking about? I got like note cards stuck in my head, like physical note cards. I'm not doing that. No. So yeah, maybe I will follow her uh, calendar, but she also does character sheets, which I do not do. I don't do character sheets. Also, I kind of already have my characters kind of my my info already in a thing so I wouldn't need to do that anyway. Maybe those days I could just use to reorganize my information could be an excuse to mess around with Art Breeder. Okay yeah we're gonna do Holly Davis. I will link her below <laughs> and uh, I will modify for my needs. Nano it's a good time for trying new stuff you know because um it's high stakes but it's actually no stakes at all, you know? It's 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 a go crazy month. How about that? That's that's how I approach Nano. We're going crazy this month. More crazy than usual. So let's do it. I'm going to try and keep regular video updates for all of this. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.